So, y'all, the other day I was, uh, I pulled into a love to get some goddamn gas, right? I go into the loves, chilling, minding my own business. And over the music, I hear jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell. You know, that little, little white jingle bell song and stuff like that. You know, I, I, I had them forgot it's that time of year where everybody about to be playing this silly ass, stupid ass Christmas music, right? And <laughs> as I walk it in, I go in to use the bathroom and shit. And I guess I got this look on my face because <laughs> some random man says, man, you okay? What's wrong? And then I recognize, like, that must be goddamn, and here, goddamn me mugging and shit. I was like, man, I just hate this dumbass Christmas music. <laughs> I, just, I, like, I came straight out and told him, like, I hate this dumbass Christmas music. Like, you don't like Christmas music? And I was like, yeah, man, I don't believe in that. <laughs> Y'all know how motherfuckers act when I say I don't believe in that. But I don't know what else to fucking say. Like, I don't believe in that. It's like, you don't believe in that. You know, you don't believe in Christmas. You don't believe in Christmas music. I say I don't believe in Christmas or the goddamn Christmas music. This motherfucker's face, he looked like he had done seen a goddamn ghost or something. Like, he looked at me like I was crazy as fuck. He said, how are you going to not, how you not believe in Christmas? I say, look, man, the way I see it, is that motherfuckers play this music and act like there's some type of Christmas spirit, which is really just doubles as what should be humanity on a daily basis, all year long. I'm not with the shits. He was like, man. He's like, you got a point, but <laughs> you, know, you got a point, but man, I love Christmas. It's my favorite time of year. I say, yeah, a lot of people say it's their favorite time of year. I just never get an explanation as to why. You know, motherfuckers like lights and trees and, and fakery, ornaments, to dress up fuckery. This country is fucked. This world is fucked. You know, y'all like to be, you know, disillusioned for a little while. I'm not disillusioned. I don't believe in none of this shit. He said, man, that's sad. He's like, well, you got kids? What about your kids? You at least got to do it for the kids. And let me tell y'all something, man. <laughs> I'm getting tired of y'all with this for the kids shit. I am. I'm getting mad at y'all. I'm tired of hearing for the kids, I got to celebrate this shit. For the kids, I got to do this. For the kids, I got to... You don't have to... Acting like your child's life is going to be less than over some Christmas, over any Halloween... Look, no, no, no. If your kid is affected by that, it's a product of social engineering. I'll say it again. If your kid is affected by that, it's a product of social engineering. Don't believe me? I'll show you. How many, uh, let's say, one-year-olds how many one-year-olds even know it's Christmas? They don't give a fuck about Christmas. They don't give a fuck about presents. We make them do that. That's, that's a, People don't understand social engineering and how deeply ingrained it is into our lives. Like, this is something... If your kid depressed that they didn't get nothing for Christmas, that's because society has made them be depressed that they didn't get nothing for Christmas. That's what you did. That's what society has done. That's social engineering. That's what it is. Now, I don't be trying to be a Grinch. Because I ain't bother nobody. I walked in the store to use the goddamn bathroom. People run up on me with their shit. <laughs> and I'm going to tell my story, goddammit. If you ask me what my story is, goddammit, you signed up for this. So let's go. And the answers I be giving don't be typical. And this was a black man that asked me this. Black trucker, of course, you know. He asked me this. I'm like, well, ain't you black? You are black. Christmas ain't got the shit to do with you. It so happened to start having something to do with you because white folk decided, by law, 
to let y'all integrate into their society. This shit ain't got nothing to do with you. What was black kids doing before this? Before we decided to be ingrained into this uh, social engineering, what were they doing before? What was your life without Christmas music? Without lights? What was your culture before that? Man, I don't know, but, you know. <laughs> but I love it. And I'm like, okay, it's okay for you to love it. There's nothing wrong. You can love it. You can like it, love it, celebrate it. You can do whatever the fuck it is you got to do. But for me, I can't fuck with it. I can't fuck with it. I don't fuck with it. I don't respect it. I don't respect what it's supposed to mean. As far as the birth of Christ, I'm not doing, I can't do all of that. Wait, you don't believe in Jesus either? Nope, I don't believe in that. Man, listen. Boy, when I tell you black folk, they something else. We something else. We something else out here in this world. With religion and these holidays, I'm like, no, I don't believe in that. Why do you believe in that? I don't believe in none of that. Even your religion is a form of social engineering. He's like, what? I'm like, listen. You believe in Jesus because your mama taught you to believe in Jesus, right, mom and daddy? Well, yeah, but... Okay, so if you were taught to believe in Jesus... This is what social engineering is, even if it's by, uh, via your parents. It's all social engineering. You believe in Jesus because that's what she was taught to believe in. Cool. That's understandable. I understand the program. I was once, you're in your position. My mama and daddy taught me the same shit. My family taught me the same shit you was taught. I just decided to, you know, do a little better for myself as far as believing in fairy tales. You believe in Santa? That's what I asked him. <laughs> I said, I say, you, you believe in Santa? Because I know you, you make it sound crazy, everything I don't believe in. Do you believe in Santa? He's like, no, man, I'm a grown man. I say, interesting. You say you don't believe in Santa because you're a grown man. Is the same reason I don't believe in Jesus. Based on that logic. It's the same reason I'm not believing no damn Jesus Christ. The only difference between Santa and Jesus is at some point they told y'all Santa Claus ain't real. That's the only difference. They told you that. If there was a religion built around Santa, there'd be a goddamn Santaism. Which is really close to Satanism. But, you know, Satan ain't real either, so it don't really matter. But nonetheless, it will be a Santaism. If they didn't tell you that the elves was fake, the reindeers was fake, you'll believe in that shit too. But with Christ, it's one of them fairy tales that nobody ever comes and tells you it ain't real. Nobody ever comes and tells you. You know what I mean, motherfuckers talking about they heard Santa Claus on top of their house? Especially when you're young. I think I saw him. what that sound like? So that sound like some religious folk that like, I think I seen Jesus. He spoke to me. Nigga, when you was young, Santa Claus was eating the cookies, drinking the milk. You think you saw somebody at your goddamn house. You heard goddamn uh, uh, jingle bells on top of your roof. Because psychologically, you've been given a story, therefore, some of your reality will be tied into this false reality. The story you've been given. I saw Santa Claus. Really? So you don't believe in Santa because you're a grown man. <laughs> but it ain't logical you not to believe in Jesus for the same very for the very same reason. One story you got told that it was fake. One story they let you carry clean until you die. You got a nigga making a list, checking it twice. 
You being good in December to get gifts for this motherfucking white man. Just another white man. A bearded white man. A white beard. Which is really should be the color of y'all Jesus' hair, really. But y'all don't really factor that in. People misquote the Bible. His hair was like, whoa, that ain't what it say. It say white like wool. Y'all motherfuckers done did whatever you want with this shit. It says white like wool. That means his hair looks like y'all Santa. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we have this conversation, right? I tell him all this shit. He was like, man, I never even thought about it like that. I said, I don't know. Because ain't nobody come tell you to think about it like that. <laughs> no one came and said anything to you about it. Nobody challenged your beliefs in any type of way. So now here we are. Me being mad as hell that I'm listening to goddamn Christmas music in a store. And you getting a different perspective from somebody that you don't even know. That's the Christmas spirit, if you ask me. <laughs> now you're thinking. God damn it. Now you're thinking. That can be your Christmas spirit. Right there. But, I mean, he didn't insult me or nothing like that. I wasn't trying to insult him. You know. And, and amicably, I had to cut it short, really. I could have went on for days, but I did go in there to use the bathroom and I had to piss. So I said, man, you have a good one, brother celebrate however you want to celebrate be safe out here in these streets and just give some thought to what I was what I said you know just give some thought to it and he said all right man you be safe out there too you know but y'all I'm telling you man y'all y'all better leave me alone I'm gonna tell you what I don't believe in now I'm telling y'all now I'm making these videos telling y'all you run up on me I'll tell you what I don't believe in quick I don't believe in that mm -mm. I ain't doing that no we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. And I'll tell you why. So sure will. Now, do I believe this man just going to not celebrate Christmas, Christmas or put down the Bible? No. But at least it gives him a different avenue to think from since he wanted to know. Y'all ain't trying to be no goddamn Grinch. You know. I don't give a fuck about Christmas. I mean, it just is what it is. It's just another day to me personally. That's who I am. That's where I came up with it. But I ain't fucking with none of this shit. None of these holidays, man. I ain't fucking with it. I ain't fucking with it. These holidays ain't for us. And this Christmas spirit y'all claim y'all have of kindness and goodness it should be that of humanity. That should be the standard for life what it's supposed to be not for December not just for December but for life people should be human I mean humanity should be up front should be out front that's how it should be but you know that's all the fuck I want to say I just want to tell y'all that short story real quick y'all know I like to come in and share with y'all a little bit about what's going on with me in these streets but um you know that's all the fuck i want to say y'all like share subscribe hit that notification bell links in the description box to follow me on social media donate to a brother via patreon or order a t-shirt from me order some of my shirts and give them to some people for the goddamn christmas y'all giving away gifts hell give away some of them hoodies and t-shirts i got on there with your face on it instead of wearing these ugly ass sweaters <laughs> Go to the site, order a t-shirt or a hoodie or a sweater that ain't ugly because I got you on it, huh? That's all the fuck I want to say. Shout out Team Rob, y'all. You already know what the fuck it is. I'm out.